smash. No, no Hulk. You gotta, you gotta, okay? Do you have a hard time managing your anger or, you know, bringing it down to earth and you don't know why? Well, today I'm hoping I might be able to give you some answers with regard to where that might come from. My name is Keisha Martine and I'm a licensed professional counselor with Venus Springs. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi. This channel is devoted to all things mental wellness. Now, this is the first part in a video series about anger management. In my opinion, as a therapist, like in order to begin to address anything, we have to understand some reasons behind it. So let's punch through this. I'm going to give you some general ideas as to where your anger might stem from. It's not going to be applicable to everybody. Everybody has different experiences and different circumstances and different factors that might play a role in how they respond to things. So just keep that in mind as we go through them. So how we learn to deal and cope with our anger it stems from our upbringing, our childhood experiences, maybe even our history and relationships. I'll give you an example. Let's say you grew up in a home where anger wasn't allowed to be discussed. You were shamed or it was dismissed or you were told you have to be nice, right? So you learn to just sweep it under the rug. You stuff, 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 right? And that can be typical in homes like that, that just don't talk about feelings, right? So if you grew up where it was shame, dismissed, or ignored, then you learn to hide your emotion, you swallow it, and it doesn't really come out until something triggers you, right? And you may not even be aware of what triggers you because you've been taught to disconnect from it, right? That it's not okay and that's shameful. And so all of that building up over time will definitely impact how you respond to things that upset you. <laughs> actually quite the opposite. You were in an environment where it was completely okay to yell, to smash things, to maybe even call someone names and just basically lash out whenever you wanted. This could mean you have anger outbursts whenever someone does something that you don't like or things don't go your way. You've learned that that's the only way to manage your anger or to let that anger out. And so, you know, that could be the part of the reason why you respond like the Hulk sometimes because that's what you were taught. So you're essentially conditioned to respond that way when something upsets you. Another reason is that you've witnessed someone who was completely out of control when they were angry. This is a little bit different with the environment is like it's completely acceptable to be angry and yell and smash things, right? And this particular one, you grew up in a situation where someone was completely out of control when they were angry. There was nothing that could stop them or calm them down at all. So this could mean that you're now afraid of your own anger and you're disconnected from what you feel. And you might have developed a hair trigger and you're easily set off. <laughs> So basically, you either learn to hide, suppress, ignore your feelings. You either learn that you can yell or do whatever you want because it's perfectly acceptable to shout and all the things, right? Or you learn to be afraid of your anger because you were exposed or you were around someone who was completely out of control when they became angry. So these are some general reasons that you might be hulking out from time to time or a lot. Well, before I move on, if you like this content so far, this is resonating with you, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be alerted when the next video in this series comes out. Moving on. No matter which one resonated with you, perhaps you experienced the first one or the second one or maybe all of them combined, you didn't learn how to regulate your emotions appropriately. And so this is likely the reason why you hulk out sometimes or you just don't feel like you can manage what you're feeling. So part of the issue that you have to get around as well is being able to understand your anger in a different way. So as you reflect on your experiences, as you're trying to piece together the reasons that you're struggling so much with your anger, I would encourage you to think about what narrative you developed as a result of those experiences. So if you were shamed or you weren't allowed to express your anger or it was completely dismissed, you've learned that it's not okay to be angry and that you have to be polite and you can't express how you feel, et cetera, et cetera, right? Then your narrative around anger is essentially probably that it's not okay right? So being able to shift that narrative is key in order to be able to learn how to manage your anger better. Hopefully after this series is over, you'll be able to like, you know, and not hulk out so much. If you feel like you need to dig a little bit more, then I always encourage you to consider therapy and talking to a therapist about what's going on with you, what you're needing, and how you might be able to get some tools to manage things better. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.